It was a feel good series about college cheerleading. But accusations of child sex abuse against a breakout star from Naperville changed how viewers looked at cheer. The Netflix show's second season just dropped today, and in it, you will hear from two of Jerry Harris's accusers and their mother. She spoke with CBS 2's Marie Saavedra. It was a Netflix juggernaut in its first season. Now cheer is back and addressing the dark and dangerous cloud that hangs over it. Hey, y'all, I'm back. In 2020, breakout star and Naperville native Jerry Harris was indicted on child pornography and soliciting minors for sex. The investigation led to a search of his Illinois home, sparked by Texas mother Kristen, whose sons are two of his alleged victims. This was not just a handful of times that this happened. He was an incredibly persistent predator that forced himself into the center of my son's lives for over a year. In episode five, titled Jerry, her boys lay out the abuse they say came through messaging. I told him that I was 13. And then after that, right off the bat, he asked me, can I have butt pics or can you send butt pics? Those complaints were at the center of federal prosecutors initial case against Harris. Since then, four more alleged victims were added and more charges stemming from Naperville, Texas and Orlando. Investigators said Harris admitted asking for and receiving explicit images from 10 to 14 kids he knew were minors well after he was 18. It also is finally an opportunity for them to speak from a platform that their peers will see and tell their story. There's much more to this story. Attorney Sarah Klein represents the family in their civil case that also focuses on what they call the lack of response from the cheerleading community when Kristen first reported the abuse. You would think in a culture of Me Too, all she would have had to do is raise her hand once. She did not. They hope the added attention from Cheer Season 2 keeps the pressure on. We just want to make sure that people don't look away from this issue before the changes that need to happen, happen. We reached out to Harris's attorney for comment, but have not yet heard back. Harris is now 22 and remains in federal custody as he awaits his trial in Chicago. I'm Marisa Vedra, CBS 2 News.